G'day guys, what's cracking to Aussie here again? So today we're hitting Pizza Hut and we're going to grab some pasta. Oh yeah, baby. In the office, there's a couple of sweet little deals. You know me and my Pizza Hut offers. I love to see them and I love to get them. So there's one in there that's one pasta and a side for eleven ninety five. dollars We're going big time here. We're going to double up and we're going to get double pasta and chips. Well, it's two pastas and a side. I'm going to go with chips. So we'll grab a, a lasagna and a chicken alfredo. Folks, $19.95. I don't reckon that's too bad, considering it's Pizza Hut. Not a bad little offer. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to test out a couple of their pastas. We already know what the chips taste like, but I reckon they'll pair beautifully with the pasta. And we've got a little mystery beverageino to go along with that. So guys, I'm going to head into the app, grab the goods, order it, and I'll circle back to you with the double pasta and chips. Let's get it. And we're back, babies, and we definitely got the goods. This is what they call a large chips. I'm pretty sure there's two sizes, regular and large. Oh, and the tide's out a bit, so <laughs> that's not very eats well. You know the deal. Gotta have a chip. Now, of course, there's bloody flies everywhere. I can't sit in the car today. It's just too damn hot. So there's your pastas in your little deal. $19.95 we went with, as forementioned, lasagna and chicken alfredo. Creamy chicken alfredo. My bad. Let's have a guess which one this is. I reckon, oh, and... I'll tell you what, they're regular, there's regular and large, they are very weighty, quite weighty for the size. These flies aren't going to give up. <laughs> Let's, I'm guessing lasagna. <clears throat> Bloody thumb stuck <clears throat> in the hole. There you go, there's your lasagna. Looks pretty decent, so I reckon it's time. To give it a red hot crack. As you notice, I bought my own spoon. Mm. It's stuck to the sides. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, 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 uh. Nice old cheese pull. On the whack of me gob. Hmm. Tough to <laughs> figure out what that tastes like. Doesn't taste the best, I can tell you that. Now, let's get into the creamy chicken fettuccine. Looks pretty much the same with just some bits on the top. Let's give it a crack. Watch these flies. We don't I'm laying maggots in me lasagna. Although it's probably too hot for them to sit on. <laughs> wow. It's a bit of chicken there. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for it. And these flies are horrendous. Down on top of there, then he can't get it. So it's got those curly little pastas in it. It ain't too bad. But I think this is better than the um, lasagna. And I was had my heart set on the lasagna being a good one, but you get that with Pizza Hut, I guess. Yeah, pretty average. They're both pretty average so far. I would say all this has got in it is chicken, pasta, creamy alfredo sauce, of course. <clears throat> oh, my Buddha. Almost swore. So, 
it's one of those things, I guess, the more you eat it, the better it tastes. Still not the best, though. Pasta-wise, it's not too bad, but I want to try it with some tips. Now, I bought two of them. I could have got the deal with just one. Oh, this is unbelievable. Only one of those hats with a cork on it. <laughs> oh, man. Get lost. Like I said, way too hot to sit in the car, but maybe I should have sweated it out. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Let's give it a crack. Make sure there's none in there when I close it up. Good thing we can close it up and keep the flies out. That's one good thing. Okay, creamy Alfredo so far is floating my boat a bit more than this guy. Let's cut it with a spoon. Get a husky hit. Oh man, this is so hard. I need. I should have bought a knife and fork. Rightio. <laughs> you gotta watch it, you don't get a fly in your gob. Let's go. So I guess for who's making it and what we got and how much it costs and all that taken into consideration. Wow, this is the worst ever with these flies. I think there's more hatching this summer. Well, this will be this summer soon. Let's try with the chips. I love lasagna and chips. So the more you eat them, the better they're tasting. A little bit of herbs on the top. Like I said, for who they are and what they are and what it is and the price and whatnot, I don't think they're too bad. It's pretty average. I suppose this is one of those times you get what you paid for. I'm going to close that up. Now, I did want to get the deal with two of them. <laughs> I've only got that fly. <laughs> I want to get the deal with two of them so I can save some for Ron. You know the deal later on. So let's get on to today's beverage. You know, is Flying Power, proudly brought to you by Audi. Got that one. <laughs> Picked it up at two buckaroonies. Flying Power Cola, 99% sugar free. I don't know why you put 1%, but what difference does it make? Make it 100. Anyway, let's crack it open, give it a red hot swig, and get the hell out of here. This is ridiculous. Every time you haven't got a free hand, they come in and they can get you. They know. Jubilee. Make sure they're not in there too. Now we tried the sugar one, the flying power. That just tastes the same to me. Just like a reasonable sort of Coke. So... Not bad, two bucks, you can't go wrong. 500 mils. That makes me a happy little chappy. So folks, the pastas, I'm not gonna say they're trash. They turned out all right. It's a bit hard to eat with flies trying to get in your mouth and everything, and in your eyes and up your nose and everywhere. But the pastas aren't too bad. The whole deal, you could have got, oh, I think those potato things or cheesy bites or whatever. I chose the chips. You could have got a garlic bread, something like that as a side. There was a few pastas to choose from. I went with what I thought would be good. So for value, $19.95. I'm going to give it two pastas and a size, regular pastas. I'm going to give it three and three quarter stars out of five for value for Pizza Hut. And for taste, probably about three and a half. It wasn't too bad. I'd eat them again. And this guy, it's got to be an it's lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for value and taste. It ain't bad if you like Coke, so I can't, that's all I can say. It's like a, a reasonable Coke. So now the wind's up, they're all taken off. That's a good thing. 
So I've got to scoff the rest of these chips because I don't want to heat them up later. So keep these guys for Ron. Chips, usual Pizza Hut, I don't mind Pizza Hut chips. Just in case you're wondering, behind us here, you can probably see that old building. That's the old Lithgow blast furnace. Not in operation anymore, as you can see. It's pretty derelict. But a little tourist destination up the top there is a car park and whatnot. Folks, I'm signing off. I'm getting out of here. Got to get back in that air condition and get away from these flies. So that's your Pizza Hut. I reckon the passes ain't too bad. They're average for what you pay for. Don't pay full price, so get a little deal, a sweet little deal like I got today. So, folks, it's time to say adios. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru and stay fresh. Isn't that right? You get to the end of it and they're gone. They must have found something else, to, <laughs> some other food to hang around. Bye-bye.